Hey everyone, coming at you again with a, another uh, unboxing. This is the Digitech iStomp 3-pack. Um, this I picked up on a musician's friend for uh, the stupid deal of the day a little while back. Uh, three pedals, $99. I uh, figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, supposedly you're able to um, take each pedal and make it into pretty much any kind of pedal that they that they offer. So um, I like that idea. I've got a ton of pedals that um, you know are one trick ponies, although they do it very well. So we're going to uh, do the unboxing and then uh, we'll um, load up a uh, um, a pedal and see uh, see what they sound like. So let's see let's see what's in here. <clears throat> Pretty much your typical packaging, nothing special. Alright, so here's pedal number one. It's like it's uh, dual in, dual out. That's for the um, for the cable that comes with it, I believe. Power, control knobs, stomp. Uh, surprisingly heavy, uh, no battery, so you have to run it off the power, which uh, I'm not. Uh... Well, we'll see. So we suppose we have three of these to see what's in this one. This is some uh, Velcro. It'll go on the bottom and hook to your to your board. Some uh, tape. All right, so there's just some little. I'll tell you about the amp, about the app. From, you have to get from the uh, iTunes Store. Looks like it only works with. Uh, with iOS, so if you have an iPod, iPhone, or a uh, iPad, should work. No Android, unfortunately. Okay. So I'm assuming this is all the same. This pedal number three, and then pedal number three. Oh, this is the, must be the power stuff. Some safety instructions, which we all should read. Uh, European adapter. This must be the cables. Here's the wall work. Okay. Oh, very nice to So it's probably going to be, it looks like one, one, one spot to power all three. Let's check it out. Very nice. So there we go, that goes into there. And these will go into your pedals. Anyways. This must be for the iOS device. It is. Okay, so here's the um, cable for the uh, iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch. That plugs into the iOS device, and this would plug into. You probably don't need the adapter, but just like that. All right. 
right, folks. So let me go get my uh, iPod Touch and um, get some power, and I'll be right back. Okay. So here's my iPod. Got power. Let's plug her in. Let's see what happens. Let's do later. Let's try chorus. And there was another chorus. Let's see. Oh, let's go do this chorus here. I believe it's free. It takes about 30 seconds. During this time, do not unplug your iOS device. Now one of the uh, neat things about this is that you can actually change the LED color of the uh, pedal uh, down here. Oops. Be better if it was screen. Let me change the pedal right down here. So I believe with chorus I'm gonna go with like a blue type color. Maybe distortion would be uh, red. So we got the rainbow, we've got a rainbow of effects. So let's go with blue. So in the app, close that. So you got some info. Take a little, you can pause that and read it. Tells you what the what the uh the controls are for. Let's get that in screen there. All right, everyone. Well, apparently it's supposed to come with stickers um, for the pedal. I believe it goes up here, from my understanding. Um, yeah, just like the just like on the box. I can't seem to find the stickers. Here somewhere. Okay. Well, we will have to see what we can do about that. So, anyhow, all right, folks. Well, that completes the uh, unboxing and the uh, first look. Let's take a quick look at some of these other effects. Let's go and do another pedal. Um, so let's go ahead and unplug that. So this one unplugged. Now apparently you don't have to keep it. You don't. You do not have to keep it connected to your to your iOS device. Um, once it's loaded in there, you can unplug it and leave it unplugged. I could have just unplugged the uh, pedal. Okay, so we'll leave that as is. Plug in the 
power supply and uh, a lot of pedals, a lot of wires here. Okay. So let's do the delay. Okay, I guess it doesn't really care to be unplugged and then oh there we go. Well, okay then. effect there. That's a good effect. Alright, so let's go and load this one up. Okay, about 30 seconds later. Should be completed. Okay, I'm really excited to uh, put this into the mix. Um, for 100 bucks, you really couldn't believe this on the musician's friend deal of the day. Alright, so, so we had a problem. Let's close the app. Plug. Power cycle that. I don't know if there's a specific way that this should uh, plug in. I'm sure there is. I'm sure I'm doing it completely backwards. Alright, so there you go, folks. Trouble with computers. Okay. Okay, we're going to allow it to communicate. Double cross delay. It's so like I was saying, for a hundred bucks, this seemed like a really great deal. I like the uh, idea of being able to change them as on the fly. Uh, in a live setting, you could leave these uh, connected, and um, you know, with uh, literally one or two pedals, you could have uh, any genre of song or style that uh, you really wanted. You don't have to have a huge pedal board anymore. And it uh, gives you the, uh, now I guess you could you know, still use the um, um, a multi-effect pedal, but uh, this gives you a little more uh, for people who like single effects like I do. All right. I'm gonna close that first. Okay. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for today. I'm going to um, uh, sign off for now. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. And uh, I should have more stuff coming. So uh, please subscribe and stay tuned. Have a great day.